Meadows, the Public Involvement Coordinator with the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District. We're filming here in Cincinnati, Ohio to bring you some information about a very cool tree, maple trees. There are 158 species of maple worldwide, from Asia to the deserts of Mexico to right here in the Midwest. There are only 13 native species of maple in the United States. We have about half of those here in Ohio, and only four species of maple will give you sap that we like to make delicious syrup from. One of those is the sugar maple, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. So let's go find one. One of the first things that everyone thinks of when they're trying to find a tree is the leaves. This time of year, we have to look on the ground to find leaves. So if we look on the ground here, we find a few leaves that look like these. These are sugar maple leaves. It's kind of hard to tell, but they have five lobes. So if the leaf looks similar to your hand, there's a good chance it's some type of maple. One way to identify the sugar maple specifically is that you could say it has a sugar cube. This top lobe, or the part that sticks up, has a square. This time of year when there aren't leaves, you also have to look at things like bark. Here's a branch that has very smooth gray bark. This is from a sugar maple. This tree also happens to be a sugar maple. When they get older, their bark gets furrows in it, but it still stays gray. Another thing that can further help you confirm that it's a maple is if you look at the branching, the maple looks like this, opposite branches. If it had alternate branching, it would look like this. They would not be growing across from each other. Now that we've confirmed that this is a sugar maple, let's talk about how they help the community throughout the year. In the springtime, they get long clusters of yellow green flowers hanging off the branches that are wind pollinated. Sometimes pollinators like honeybees can use the pollen as well. Another way that they help animals in their community in spring is twigs are great nesting material for a lot of birds. Other birds are cavity nesters and they'll nest in holes or hollows in the trees like screech owls, chickadees, and woodpeckers. There are a lot of animals that continue to use maples from the spring into the summer and even in the fall. Seeds, buds, and flowers are great sources of food for mammals like squirrels and chipmunks and birds. There is a long list of birds that use these trees, including even hummingbirds, warblers, woodpeckers, turkeys, and songbirds like goldfinches. In fact, maples are one of the preferred foraging trees for woodpeckers, such as the pileated woodpecker, to find insects. Another insect that uses this will eat the leaves. The rosy maple moth lays its eggs on the leaves and its caterpillars will munch away until they're big enough to grow into a moth. We all know that after summer comes fall. Sugar maples have beautiful fall leaves, ranging from yellow to orange to red, and a lot of people like to plant them in their yard to enjoy the shell. At the end of the summer, those maple flowers will turn into fruits called samaras. These are the little helicopters you see falling down that have seeds in them. The seeds are great sources of food for all the critters we talked about in the summer. Winter is one of the most difficult times for a lot of animals. Food is very scarce. Deer and moose love to browse on young maple branches like this. Porcupines are something you may not think of, but they love to eat the bark on the bottom of the trees in the winter. We all love some maple syrup on pancakes, but this isn't the real deal. This is what we want. This is real maple syrup made from trees. It takes 40 gallons of sap from this tree to boil down to make one gallon of syrup. So let's get to it. Once your sap is all boiled down and turned into syrup, you can enjoy your syrup all year long. But the sap only flows in the trees in the winter and early spring with warm days and cold below freezing nights. This may not be maple, but it shows another way that maple is useful to humans. We can use maple for flooring, furniture, cutting boards, to tool handles, musical instruments, and even in sports bowling, or baseball bats. Thanks for watching and learning about how sugar maples are an important part of a healthy forest 
and contribute to a healthy community for both people and animals alike.